Welcome to Metal Gods TV. Hi, this is Matt Hill from Metal Gods TV. We're here with Savage Messiah. Good evening, guys. Good evening, mate. It's great, man. Cool. Thanks for speaking to us. If you could just uh, tell the viewers um, who you are on Savage Messiah and what you play as to you yourself. Uh, my name is Mauricio. I'm the drummer from Savage. Uh, Joff, I play guitar. Cool. And you're on. It's, it's late tonight, isn't it? Our early morning yeah, is it half one? About half one. Half now. one. So yeah, it should be good. Everyone's people should be, be wasted. They should be sort of pre well, beard up. Well, we'll, we'll up. have a good time. So <laughs> there's no excuses for them not to join themselves tonight. So are you enjoying it? It's time here. Yeah, yeah, it's been good. I mean, we arrived a little bit late because uh, it's uh, Dave, the singer's birthday today, so he had us driving around London looking for a poxy Van Halen album. It's like, I need to find unlawful carnal knowledge before we hit the road. It's like, oh, come on, man, we're running late as it is. No, it's my birthday, damn it, I'll do what I bloody well want. <laughs> so it's like, all right, fair enough. But since we've been here, it's been really cool. Atmosphere's kicking, man, it's electric downstairs. We're really it's actually there, looking forward to play tonight, you know. We, we, I don't know, I mean, I mean, obviously we ran out a bit late, but it was like, yeah, we finally go here, we want to play, and that's, that's the most important thing. Did you, have you caught any bands since you've been here, or you've been interviewing uh, Yeah, caught a bit of Hell's set. Yeah, it sounded really good. Andy and uh, Kevin and all that kind of stuff. And uh, Scott, our producer, the guy that produced the album, he's uh, guitar taking for him, so hopefully catch up with him. Yeah, yeah. So, Savage Messiah, tell the, the people watching Metal Gods TV um, your influences, what, what you're all about as a band. Oh, a bit of everything, really. Uh, quite a collective mix of uh, influences. A lot of the thrash influence, obviously, you can hear coming through on the album. But even the stuff as far back as like early Rush and stuff with the progressive side of things. So, pretty much everything from like 1969 to now, really, as long as it's. Yeah, heavy I mean, and it's a bit metal, it's fine. Yeah, you know? there, there's, there's nothing like, oh, this is just a trash metal band or this is just progressive or power metal. We got, you know, a mix of everything. So we got elements from progressive, from trash, and that actually makes it more interesting. Actually, the, the album, the one just came out, it will tell the difference between the previous one as well. You know, the previous one was just, it was very nice, very good, very powerful as well. But you can say, and you can see from this album, for the new one from Plague and Conscious, it's more, more, got more elements, you know, you will see it, it's more interesting. Yeah, I mean, even like lyrically, Dave's, oh, lyrically. yeah, the way Dave writes his lyrics and stuff like that, he, he really likes to work about his, sort of his, his world view, if you like, like power structures and struggle against oppression and something to do with the system, yeah, conspiracy yeah. theories, something to do with, the, you know, who's controlling us and, uh, Actually, very uh, interesting lyrics about, you know, uh, uh, like, um, I forgot the name. Um, the <laughs> Oscar Valaki? No, 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 no. no. The, the, anyway. <laughs> so, well, Mask Anarchy actually is one of the, the, the songs that he says a, a lot about the album, you know, about the system, about the, oh, everything is against that, you know, something yeah. that is not. It's, uh, it's inspired so, by. Uh, Illuminati. The Illuminati. That's what I was <laughs> trying to find. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, Mask of Anarchy is, uh, I mean, that song really came together through Dave's reading of a poem by Shelley uh, called The Mask of Anarchy. And uh, it's all about government and stuff like that. It sort of rides in on a white horse, but it's not all it's meant to be, sort of thing. It's, uh, yeah, really good. Really good. It's like Making people realize who's actually controlling us, that we actually got no freedom at all, and we just brainwashed by a lot of things, actually, including media, including everything. And we, yeah, most of the people don't know what is going on and what is happening. So, some of those his stories, but some people think they're just, you know, conspiracy, they don't pay attention to it, but actually, there is something going on behind, you know, and that's what we want to actually. Uh, tell in this album, you know, it's a little bit more sensible about things, it's not just passing by. Think, though, when they're listening to the, the song, reading the lyrics or, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just gets the old grey matter yeah, going yeah, a little does, bit, you know. Not, and he's very generous, it was often a free download, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, that, the label approached us with the idea, we completely agree with it. I mean, although we've had albums out before, it's our debut with Earache, so it's just, yeah, just get the album out, just reach as many people as we can with it. Really proud of the, what we've come up with for this album. So, yeah, just thought, yeah, just give it away. That's, that's the idea, you know, in the beginning, you, you think like, oh my God, we're gonna give it free, and then you get, oh, wait a minute, it's a fucking good idea, you know? Like, you got the chance to get more people coming in, knowing the band, 
and then and, and he sees you know he works out very well yeah, we got more people yeah 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 you yeah, got more people like yeah yeah we like the album we got we got more likes on facebook <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you know it's yeah, like yeah, wow. it's, it's connected with everyone out there yeah the response to it was it's been absolutely yeah. amazing you know this just been yeah killer cool. really really has been good good response Life after Hammerfest for Savage Messiah, what plans have you got? Well, we're playing uh, York tomorrow, uh, then Birmingham, then we're finishing on Tuesday night in London at the Barfly. And uh, just wait and see what happens from there, really. We've got a few things in the pipeline that are going to start to manifest over the next couple of months and then hopefully really start hitting some heavy, heavy touring. So. Well, just, that, that's the idea, you know, we need to tour, yeah. and the story, we just need to tour, and uh, we finished this gig in, on, my, on Tuesday in London, we just actually, we hope to get on road again as soon as possible, because we just need to play the album, you know, I mean, you know, if we don't have to, you know, we wouldn't just actually stop doing it, we just actually like to carry on to maybe 2014. <laughs> without stopping and writing the next album within, you know, like no on the, the no, uh, straight on yeah, yeah, straight on it. Times yeah. ahead. Oh, it's great stuff. And uh, <laughs> do you have a final message for everyone who's watching Metal Gods TV out there? What have you got to say to people watching this program? <laughs> well, well, Metal Gods TV, just keep on rocking and this is the fucking rule, guys. <laughs> thanks for pleasing us, guys. Thanks no, so much. Thank, thank you, man. Thank cool. you. Oh, Cheers, thanks mate. very thank much, you. man. May God have mercy on your soul.